Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. And today I'm gonna teach you about Drush. And Drush is one of the coolest things. Um, it's hard to articulate how exactly cool it is until you get into using it. And things that you do all the time in Drupal become really easy. So what Drush is, is it's a command line interface for doing things in Drupal. And that's a way simplified version of explaining it. Um, but you can go to drupal.org slash project slash Drush. And keep in mind, if you're on a server, you're gonna have to have like SSH access and um, you're gonna have to be able to install things on your server. And if you're on Mac OS X, then awesome. I will show you how to do it here. Um, and we're gonna be doing it manually because you could install it with something like uh, Pear or you used to be able to install it with Homebrew, although I don't see that on their GitHub page anymore. Uh, but those tools, um, it ends up being basically a loop of trying to find stuff to have Pear working. On OS X, you have to get Xcode or the Xcode command line tools, and then it eventually just ends up taking a long time when really it's not that hard to just install it on your own. So we're gonna do it the manual way and it's gonna be nice and easy. So if you're scared of command line and or anything like that, don't worry. I'm gonna tell you what to type and everything's gonna be all right, cool. So we're gonna go to this uh, project on GitHub and don't worry, you don't have to know Git and you don't have to have a GitHub account uh, because all we're simply going to do is click download zip. You could clone this if you wanted to, if you're a Git person, um, but I don't want to have that uh, barrier into this video. So um, maybe once I do Git tutorials, we can go back to this or something like that. But we're just going to click download zip right here. And, um, you know, it's very well GitHub's layout may have changed by then. Um, but if it isn't, it's going to be right here in the down in the lower right. And you'll notice it has downloaded a zip file to my downloads folder. And here's that zip file. What's in here? Well, not a whole lot you really need to know about. You can check out the readme file if you want. Um, but there's not a whole lot in there other than how to install it. And in fact, these videos are going to go over most of what you need to know. So what's the first step to installing Drush? Well, if you haven't installed uh, any command line, anything before, it's gonna seem weird. But first thing we have to do um, is put this in um, our user local libraries folder. And I don't know if we have to, but um, it's a good idea to have it there. So I have this Drush master folder. I'm actually just gonna rename this to be uh, just Drush, just like that. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to actually see, be able to see invisible files and stuff like that. In fact, it's nice to be able to turn those off and on. Uh, to do that, I've copied and pasted this. It's I'll have this in the comments here. It's defaults, right, com.apple.finder in all cap or finder in caps, and then space apple show all files space true. So this is going to turn on hidden files, and then we can say kill all and then Finder, and that's going to reset Finder. And once Finder's been reset here, if I, you see my dragging my uh, Finder in here, you'll see that we now have all these like, grayed out folders and files that you never saw before. Well, these are your hidden files, and they're gonna come in handy for something like this because Apple hides a bunch of stuff they don't think you should be able to see. So we're gonna scroll down here and look at this user folder, USR folder. And keep in mind, you wanna be careful with these uh, hidden files because chances are they're hidden because uh, if you delete them or modify them, then they can mess things up in your system. So be careful with what you're doing here. Uh, we have the user folder and then um, we're gonna make a local folder. It's gonna ask for my password. local, and then um, I'm gonna have a lib folder. And now let's put this Drush folder in here entirely. Now I need to make this, uh, this Drush executable. I have to make this actually executable. So to do that, I'm going to have to run a command um, and that's going to be chmod. Um, so we're gonna type sudo and then chmod, 
then u plus x in space. And now we're going to type a forward slash, and then we're going to go to that directory that we just put this drush file. So it's usr and then uh, forward slash and then local. And now keep in mind, if you're, not, if you're new to command line, you can start typing the first couple of letters and then hit tab and it'll complete it for you. Um, then lib, then drush. And now we want this to actually be on the drush executable file. So this just drush, so we do slash drush and then just the word drush. Now we can hit enter. It's gonna ask for my password, enter. Cool. Now at this point, uh, drush is executable. So if we wanted to just say user slash local slash lib slash drush drush, we could hit enter and it's actually going to run drush. And in fact, this is what it normally looks like uh, when you type the word drush. It tells you all of the drush commands that are available. So when I explain that drush is extremely useful, I think uh, that this super long list of <laughs> drush commands is proof enough that there is a lot you can do with drush. And even things like clearing cache becomes effortless. So we have uh, drush installed here technically, but uh, if we type the word drush in command line, it says command not found. So we need to create a link uh, to our user bin folder. So this is super easy and it might scare you the, you know, creating a link, but it's not. So we're going to type sudo space ln hyphen s, and then we're going to browse to that drush file. So again, forward slash usr, and then local lib drush drush, just like that, space. And now we're going to want to put this uh, link to our bin folder. And we're going to do forward slash user and then bin, and then just the word drush, no, forward slash. So what this is actually doing is it's really just creating a link into our user bin folder uh, for this drush, so that when we type the command drush, it's gonna look in our user bin and that's going to point it to our, uh, where, it actu where it's actually living, our local library drush. So if we hit enter here, the command is done and we should be ready to go. So let's type in drush, and now, instead of command not found, we have access to all of the cool things that Drush can do. So in the next video, I'm going to show you some of the most basic Drush commands. Uh, in fact, uh, it's gonna be really basic. But uh, we're gonna get into some really cool stuff. So, uh, as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. Um, this is going to be one of many new Drupal tutorials because after we do Drush, which is a great thing, um, we're going to be going into Omega 4, which actually uses Drush in some very cool ways. So uh, keep watching. We're going to make some really cool Drupal stuff happen. So uh, as always, this is Scott Tolinsky, and thanks for watching. Bye.